five victims, uh, additional victims that sustained injuries. Of those five, we have received word that three of those five are deceased as well. So a very horrific situation. Uh, we're in the very early stages of that, um, and uh, we're beginning the investigative process at this point. I'm hearing that it was possibly a gunman was a disgruntled employee and that he entered um, through some sort of elevator, back elevator, to bypass security? We've not confirmed all of that at this point. That will come out in the investigation. Uh, we'll be here the better part of the day gathering that information. There are uh, lots of interviews to be done, a lot of crimes seem to be processed. Can you uh, say so whether the victims are men or women? I don't, I don't know that. Officers injured? No officers injured. What about the conditions of the other two people who were shot, Chief? We know that they sustained some gunshot wounds. I don't know the severity of their injuries either. Any idea the if they died on the scene? Did the shooting actually happen in the tower or the five-story? It happened. Tower? Everything transpired in the loading dock area and the lobby area of the building. Uh, what the tower we, or the uh, five-story building? Of the, of the, of the, of the, the Fifth Third Center, the tower. the tower. Just in the lobby area. The, he did not proceed to the upper floor. Do you think the victims were targeted as specific we have no inf We have no information that leads hey, us Chief, to believe that. There's a lot of people watching this right now. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they should come downtown. What is your advice to all the people who are watching right now? You know, we're in the investigative process of this. There's no reason to proceed uh, downtown. Uh, we will be notifying next to Ken as soon as possible uh, on the, the victims of this incident. So at, at this point, we don't believe that there's any additional threat in the media area. Can you was say the how weapon recovered? We, there's no way to know at this point. There were multiple shots. Was the weapon kind of recovered? The, there was a weapon recovered. What kind and, of weapon? And we'll be able to give that information out. I have not seen it personally. I'm not, uh, I've only been in the, the, uh, the immediate area. There's a lot, again, there's a lot that has to be done before we can From a police response chief, if you talk about how you respond to active shooter situations, it, what I can go according what, to plan? What I can say, our officers responded very quickly. They engaged the threat and they neutralized that threat. However, there was some tragedies that did occur. So Do you know we will conduct a press conference as soon as we're able to, and we'll certainly have more information. As what about the people in the fifth third building? When will they be we are, able to we, are, we are aiding their exit now. We still have multiple officers, even our SWAT officers are aiding in that process. Uh, they will be uh, evacuating the building as, as soon as they're able. Did the officers shoot the suspect or did he shoot himself? We don't know at this point. We believe we, there was an exchange of gunfire. Whether or not he shot himself as well, I can't. I so can't the say. building is in lockdown right now. It is. We will be lifting. We'll be lifting that very soon. We're aiding in uh, those employees uh, exiting. The are building. there people still inside the building? There are still people still inside. Did they the do building. the appropriate thing? And it, it appears that they did. Taking shelter based in on, place. Based on what I know, yes, they did. Chief, this gunman, did he have one gun, multiple guns, and was he in business entirely? I don't. I don't know. That's, I don't know that on a information. Day, are there officers stationed inside this building? We have officers that are on Fountain Square that are in the immediate area. Um, I don't believe there are officers stationed inside of the. And do we know was the Cincinnati police that engaged the suspect it was or was security? We know at least three or four of our officers did engage. The and I think this is important to get through the clutter. Um, downtown Cincinnati is safe Absolutely. right now. Correct? Absolutely, very safe. Uh, we had a quick response. Our officers were on the scene. You know, you can't predict what an individual will do. But yeah. We respond to those threats and Were uh, any of the needed. victims dead on the scene? Um, I believe there was one individual that was deceased here. So to scene. recap, the suspect's dead and three other people, so correct. four total? Correct. That's correct. So we'll have more as, we, as it becomes available. Is this the worst kind of situation? The condition of the two other people who were injured? They're, they're still being treated at the hospital. I can't speak to their condition. To I, I, I don't was know. Was this captured on security video? I don't know. Here? I believe there is some security camera we are trying to secure that video as well as there'll be body cams from the officers that has to be processed. So there's much work to be done very early in the investigative process and we'll certainly pass that on to you as it becomes Can available. Can you reiterate so how the officers are? Other cities, it could happen here anywhere. Finally, it happened in Cincinnati. Your comments, your thoughts on that? You know, these are things that we see happening across the country and we all have to be vigilant and prepared to deal with these situations. I, I think from what I see preliminarily, the, the bank responded with their lockdown procedures as well as our officers responding to, to the danger. So we will have more to come as soon as it becomes Mr. available. Mayor, you That's all. Yes, uh, first, my prayers go out to the victims, uh, at least three deceased who appear to be innocent uh, uh, victims, two more that are suffering in the hospitals. 
So we uh, send our prayers to them. We don't know their names or their identities yet. The second thing is the heroism of the police and firefighters standing behind me. It appears that the police were there within seconds, literally, from the time they got to the lobby. Uh, apparently there were shots below and then he moved up to the lobby. So uh, he was actively shooting uh, innocent victims, it appears, and our officers were able to kill him and stop the threat very quickly. So you, you, we could imagine this situation being much worse uh, than it was. So. It is also the case that, that our police and our first responders, firefighters, EMT, were here administering and trying to save lives uh, very quickly and moving people out of the building. And so uh, our first responders uh, have done a heroic job today, and, and, it's an, it's, and it's important to remember just how dangerous that job is. And thank God they were able to remove the threat. I mean, has there been some conversation about this could have spilled into Fountain Square, and then who knows what could have unfolded? It, it clearly was is horrific and it could and, but it clearly also could have been much much Talk worse to the fact that look, we've seen this in other cities but we just pray it doesn't happen here and today it happened in your city yeah it's it's uh, it's heartbreaking i mean this is not normal and it shouldn't be viewed as normal this is abnormal no other uh industrialized country has this level of active multiple shootings on a regular basis almost on a daily basis i think there's something that deeply sick at work here and we as a country have got to deal with it. As the chief said, you know, uh, downtown is safe. The threat, this specific threat has been removed. You know, I'll be, you know, we'll all be down here, you know, the, 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 with the chief's leadership, you know, with the lowest crime rate in 10 years. So we're more, we're as safe now than we were, you know, without this, but at any given time in any place in this country, uh, because uh, of what's happened over the last several years, people just uh, are in the, engaged in these active uh, shootings, which is uh, is grotesque. And I think I think we all, in my opinion, all solutions need, need to be on the table. Councilwoman, so about who all is involved? Homeland Security, FBI, obviously. Yeah, the gov I mean, just before the, this, the press, uh, the governor called, offered all available support. The FBI is on the scene, ATF, you know, etc. Uh, you know, we're getting all the help we can get. Uh, from the federal and state government, but but what we need as a as a community is to figure out not just community but as a country is how to end these these multiple mass shootings that seem to be happening. Every Councilwoman day. Murray, can we ask you on that front? Yes. As a more conservative council person, the, the issue of guns in America, guns in Cincinnati. Your thoughts? I know it's a it's certainly an issue that conservatives tend to say don't touch our guns for a variety of reasons. But when that happens so close to home, what does that say to you as you? contemplate that debate when it happens anywhere it just i mean it's it's breaking our hearts on behalf of all the council members we are so sorry i mean just praying for the families that are going to have to deal with this today you know we need to look at everything there's a lot of mental illness out there that needs to be taken care of and we've you know moved in other directions so i think we really need to focus on mental illness and and try and do whatever we can to prevent this. Not that you know have any you don't have any information that this was a mentally a person no, with a mental but uh, some of them that we see are mentally ill, and so you know that that's a huge number of people in these mass shootings, and so we need to do whatever we can to help those that are mentally ill, and to try and prevent any of this. And our hearts and prayers, thoughts, just go out to all of the people that are involved today, and thank you to our police and fire for their quick response and preventing it from being even a, a greater tragedy. Well, and you probably know people who work inside that building. I'm sure you do. Too. Too, Mayor, when this first was reported, what went through your minds? My dad worked in this building for uh, many years. Um, whenever I'm down here, I usually grab a cookie or a Cervantes or something at Greater, so it could have been any one of us. It's frightening. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing, right? I mean, the reason why this is so significant is because Fountain Square, you crisscross before you go into the office, you go get some donuts, you go get some coffee, maybe a sandwich. Um, so it could have been much, much worse, correct? Had it not been for the quick response, the police. if it hadn't been for the police, I yep. mean, what you know, we're all so in some ways. You guys know more about this than we do because we're doing. Our officers are securing the building, making sure everybody's safe in the building, and haven't started their official investigation. But what you know, what you guys are reporting is, uh, you know, from witnesses who saw it, uh, and that it does appear that there was some random shooting involved. That it wasn't just a dispute between two people. And so it, it, this is, it strikes me as a multiple shooting uh, of innocent victims, uh, horrific, grotesque, unacceptable, uh, a, a sickness. And, you know, it's happened in cities across the country uh, far too often in schools, in movie theaters, in nightclubs. And, um, you know, we got to deal with this as a country. And, and, you know, it's happened now here.
Are you going to be reaching out to like mayors of other cities that have dealt with this problem? Since this is a problem we haven't seen in Cincinnati, I've never seen police presence in my 20 years covering the city. Well, we're actively involved already with across the country. The mayors and police chief, Chief Isaac and I, serve on the mayors and police chief task force of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and dealing with multiple shootings is, is a consistent theme. You know, candidly, well, I, I don't want to get into all legislative issues, but cities, the power of cities to regulate guns have, has been dramatically reduced over the last 20 years. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas. I'm looking for clarification on um, UC's release said that there are three victims that are still in the hospital right now. Chief Elliot Isaac, you mentioned two. Uh, in, in their release, they say that one is in critical, and, or two are in critical and one is in serious condition. Just looking for a clarification on that. How many I mean, fatalities that's the do we have, I guess, is the question. We have the shooter and how many fatalities beyond that, the citizens? We believe we have three. The plus the shooting. And you said we believe at this point. We I mean, believe. Okay. We believe. And this the is the information that's being conveyed right now to The mayor us. made a reference in, to the fact that the police killed the suspect, but I'm not Excuse sure me. that you said that. Do we want to say, is that, is that? Is yeah. that what I say is, I, that's not something that I can say. Okay. The coroner has to confirm that. So, but we do, what I can confirm is there was an exchange of gunfire between our officers and the suspect. Chief, can you talk about how your officers and, are and it's doing also, right now? And it's also clear that the officers got there very fast and, and saved God knows how many lives. Are there officers stationed in that building? How do they respond so quickly? Oh, Were they on fast? We're going to wrap no, the press conference it up. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. We provide you more information on our Twitter page. Go to at CCPD. Follow us there. Give you updates. Local media. Bob and Sheila, can you hear me? Please follow us on I'm still, I'm still here. I know it will be probably the next 20 hours.